So this is a new area, actually, and I really want to get a Pokemon. What is that, though? Is that Celebi? Hold up! Celebi? Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Young Sir Jake, aka Provictini, the victim mask himself. Welcome back to an episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield, the randomizer Shiny Lock. In the last episode, we went ahead and arrived at Moto Stoke. But before that, we lost yet another team member. It feels like this is becoming a trend now in the series where I lose a team member every episode and then we talk about it in an elected episode as of uh it's, it's the normal thing the normal thing to do, right? Like how our Pokemon are just dying. There's a the virus going on here. Jake doesn't know what he's doing. That's what's going on here. But anyway, that happened. Uh, but I have to say, though, the trainer we battled was a bit higher level than she should have been. So I feel like we did very well there, for, considering only we only lost one team member. But with that team member being lost, we have redeemed ourselves and got ourselves a new team member, Bulbasaur. But you'll see here that Bulbasaur is not as shiny yet. Uh, right now, I'm sitting at 454 eggs. And no Shun Bulbasaur as of yet. But later tonight at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be uploading, or not uploading, I'll be doing another live stream. You can't upload a live stream, duh, Jake. But I'll be live streaming uh, Shiny Light Bulbasaur. And hopefully we'll be getting it then. But I want to say a big, big thank you. Thank you, thank you. A big, big, big one. Like, the biggest of all thank yous out there. For all the support you've shown me last night on the live stream, at one point, there were 20 of you watching me, which, th that's like three is a crowd. 20 is just a whole party. So thank you for the big party that we had going on last night. We had lots of trades going on. And I pretty much traded off all my shiny Pokemon. So I don't really have any shiny Pokemon to trade out right now, but later on I will do that. But for sure, come join us tonight as we have some fun. And tonight, it's my 21st birthday today, so... Oh? Hey! Rose Tower has like a hundred floors, right? So, it is my 21st birthday today. Um, yeah, so happy birthday to me, I guess. Thank you, game, for making me feel like you handed the old letter to the old man. Alright, you... That, that... That isn't really like... You know what? I'm not gonna let this ruin my birthday. But yeah, I'm 21 today. Uh, nothing really changes. Except for... I'm not technically the legal drinking age if I lived in the States. In Canada, it's the legal drinking age. It's 18. So, I've been drinking for a while now. Uh, and I see like that I'm an, like, alco I'm, like, I'm an alcoholic. I don't really drink that much. But, yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of want to dive into that little topic, though. Over the years, do you find yourself going through a phase where it's like, ah... Uh, Yay, it's my birthday, and then like as the years go by, it's just like, yay, 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 oh, it's another day? Oh, I forgot there's Blastoise over here, <laughs> uh, but seriously though, I, I don't know, I, this morning when I woke up, I didn't really feel like it was like a special day or anything, and I remember when I was younger, Who is this? Okay, all right. I see you, gym leader or gym trainer Ray. But when I was younger, I was so excited for my birthday whenever it rolled around. Yeah, it's like seven days after like December and like it's seven days into the new year. So people aren't really like in the festive spirit anymore because they just celebrated Christmas. But honestly, I, I, I like I like having my birthday in January, but I've always somehow been excited for it. But this year, I don't know. I woke up and I was like, it's another day. I love doing what I'm doing, you know, working towards my future goals and such. But I don't know. It just doesn't really feel that special anymore. So, does this still feel special to you all sometimes when you've got your birthday happening, or is it just another day for you? I'm hoping that it's not just another day for you and it actually feels special. There's something satisfying about actually being able to hold the products when you shop. Then again, buying things online and having the Pokemon delivered to you as its own charm. I I don't recall. There being like a Amazon delivery service in Pokemon, but all right. I've been studying foreign languages, computers, and Pokemon. Now, 
So it seems that from now on, before I start off each episode, I will have to re-randomize all the trainers because for some reason, the game decides to crash every time that I restart it. So I'm guessing that's maybe a problem with the randomizer because literally all I did was re-randomize the trainers and this lady is working out. I, I did not see what she has, so let's see here. I've been studying foreign language, which we know this. You also crashed my computer or my game in this case. So I'm guessing you've been studying how to hack. Trainer Hannah or Gym Trainer Hannah? You got a cup? Okay, I got one of those. <gasps> Yo, that's no cup chew. So, I, I don't know how she has a cup chew on her team because I was actually going to showcase my cup chew earlier. Um, but yeah, because I, I gave cup chew a little texture pack here. It's supposed to be cup chew secret form. You ruined my. You ruined my surprise, your lady. Like, come on, man. You ruined my surprise. That's why I didn't show Cub Shoe when I did, like, when I went to Bulbasaur. I, I purposely skipped that frame so I could show you Cub Shoe's secret form, and now she's ruining it. <sighs> well, I guess this is a good way to show her then. This is Cub Shoe's secret form. It's not actually Cub Shoe's secret form, but. I was going through the game hacking community or the Pokemon hacking community last night and they came across this. Somebody went ahead and put F Jack Frost as Cub Chew's model in Pokemon Sword and Shield. And now we got Jack Frost instead of Cub Chew. So I was going to end the episode like Cub, Cub Chew's secret form or whatever. That's it. That's it. It's, that's Cub Chew's secret form. She honestly like ruined it. Thank you, miss. For ruining what could be a, what could have been a great surprise, and I see there's Applin on this route. I would have preferred getting an Applin over a Bulbasaur, to be honest. <laughs> Just kidding, Bulbasaur. Take a joke, buddy. It's all good, man. I love you just as much as my other Pokemon. Maybe a little bit more. Oh, instead of a Pokemon, I found a trainer. I'll have to check how strong you are. Okay, Doctor Marvin. You got a Grubbin? These these trainers have some weak ass Pokemon. Why? Why? And like I'm I'm level 15 here, so I feel like we're a bit overpowered once again. Uh, I want to go into Bulbasaur here afterwards to give Bulbasaur some time because right now Bulbasaur is eating up the experiences from this from being a lazy Bulbasaur man. He's being a lazy pot. What do you even call a lazy piece of plant? I don't know what just happened there, but you died, Grubbin. You died from a kiss. Hoot hoot. Ah, yes, Hooters. My favorite Pokemon. Gardevoir, you're just wrecking havoc right now, lady. I don't even know what's do, do we gotta do we have to have a rest of a team here? Like, do we need do we need other team members? Cause I feel like Gardevoir can just take the rest of the game now, you know? It's 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 GG. Youch, your Pokemon are way too strong. Yeah. I feel like I did it oh I did a bit over leveled. That makes no sense, Jake. I feel like I've won a bit overboard with leveling up my Pokemon, however. To complete the mission, you'll need to ride in one of these cups and make your way to the goal while trying to avoid obstacles. Alright, I don't want to do this. Please don't let me do this. If you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, we have witnessed quite the surprise during the finals. Here this year's Champion Cup as the former gym challenger really stormed the stage, but Jake was having none. <laughs> this year's top challenger made qu quick work of him before watching away gym leader Nessa. Well, well, a sword word. That sounds like squid word, but it's like... Somebody that can't say squid, and so they're like, sword word, sword word, sword word, sword word. Guess it was the feet I heard coming. I think I'm about to cry. Oh, don't cry. Don't cry, Sonya. My soul is always open for you to cry on, all right there? No? That's kind of creepy? Why? You go, you, ooh. Oh, okay, I see you. You giving us some rope? You, you into that? Hold on, you, you into that, Sonya? We can go behind that bush real quick if you want. <laughs> we can do it animal stuff. Just kidding. Kidding, of course. Jokes, okay? Calm down. To the people watching this. 
Sometimes my jokes go a bit far. You can say they're a bit far-fetched. See, now that one's just, that one's just lame, Jake. You can't even, you can't even, like, get back from that one. Just be quiet. The rest of this episode is going to be an ASMR of Jake breathing. <sighs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine, like, somebody doing a whole episode of this, them, like, doing an ASMR type thing? Now, I don't think I can get a Pokemon this way, like, as an encounter, like, that I can catch. But I want to see, regardless, what I'm going to get if I keep shaking this tree. I'm quite curious. <laughs> Is this still going to be greedent? Okay, I think we got it now. I think if we... Let's do one more, because it's, it's... Oh, there we go! There it is! What is this? Oh! Oh, it's a Muna! I like that. That kind of makes sense in a way, right? Kind of. Not really. Like, to some extent. But, hey. I have to say, Muna, we have to let you go, though. I can't capture you. I just wanted these berries. You. And here he is. Ready for that match? Oh, you're right. I see now that I look more closely. Is the tree talking to us? Um. I think we ate too many berries. Were you thinking of passing through it even looking at my Pokemon? Uh. If I could. Alright, so we are back. The randomizer has been fixed. I did a very, very, very dumb thing, but we'll get into that in a second here. I am sorry that I was not able to upload yesterday. I really, really want to make this series a daily thing, but so far, it, the game hasn't let me do that. But I think I fixed it. But while I was fixing it, I decided why not let my automatic shiny hunter help me out and try and get me shiny Bulbasaur. And things were looking good for us at the very beginning. I did about 900 eggs and nothing. But, as you can probably see by my voice, we now have Shiny Bulbasaur. After 920 eggs, he finally hatched, and we got him. Look at him. He's actually got a pretty good nature. He's got a jolly nature, if I'm not mistaken here. And, uh, yeah, he's actually really, really, really good. I'm happy with that. Yeah, look at that. Jolly nature. Very, very happy with that, actually. He, he actually just hatched, like... Literally 10 minutes before I was going to start recording this episode. So I'm happy about that. But let me tell you what Jake did. I don't know why I'm talking about third person here. But let me tell you what I did. So I guess on the randomizer tool, there's an option that lets you skip custom or like special class trainers. Which in brackets, it says, if you don't hit this button, the game will crash. Or there's a potential of the game crashing. So I don't know why the hell I decided, hey, I'm not going to click this. I don't need that. It's, it's th The game's not going to crash. Like, I seriously don't know why I did that. Now, I'm get I, I, so I checked around in the, in the randomizer to see why I'm not getting random moves. And I have random moves selected. But for some reason, my it just doesn't work. So for now, we're gonna go with the regular moves that your Pokemon are supposed to learn. Um, I'm hoping that later on it does get fixed because I really would like my Pokemon just to have like insane random moves. Like while I'm leveling up, all of a sudden it learns like Phantom Force or something like that, or Shadow not Phantom Force, Shadow Force. You know, like the moves that Mick Jagger has. Yo there. I'll show you what I carry. Letters in victory. He's doing the nay nay. He's like, hey, now watch me, nay nay. Did you see that? He's like, yeah, bro. Bro fist. Turns out I was carrying your victory. Yeah, you were. We're on a streak here, buddy. We can't lose. If we lose, our Pokemon is dead forever. I could go in his lady's, like, camp. Challenge is too amazing. Oh, thank you. I tried my very best to pick. Oh, that's right. Do you love all? That's right. You lot have been in the slumbering wield. I sure have, lady. I saw a very, very interesting Pokemon there, or was it a Pokemon? I'm not too sure. Every Pokemon's got a type or two on every type of strong points and weak ones. Okay, okay, we, we know this. 
So, I I'm not really sure what's going on at this point. We may have to cut the episode short. It it's working again, but I can't really, like, re-randomize it every time for each trainer. So, I really have to figure out what is actually wrong here. I'm wondering if it's maybe it's an option I've enabled on the ROM or if there's too many mods added to it. I'm not really too sure here. Noibat? Noibat! <laughs> Alright, well, we got some nice fairy type moves. That can definitely take care of this Noibat real quick. Swiftly, you can say. Swiftly down the stream of death you go, Noibat. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm currently shiny hunting for you, so... It's not that I hate you or anything. It's just, if you if I lose... It's, it's, and it's good game for us, you know, and I can't have that. Now, I don't know if this is a new area or not. I don't believe it is, so I'm not even going to try and capture these bundle bees. Uh, but there's nothing, something out of the Dynamax transformation. Yes, a super potion is something of the Dynamax formation. That is fine. I guess the game is just like, you know what? Well, let's let Jake right know right now that super potions equals Dynamaxing. Here, a little something for having a chin wag with me. It's an escape rope. <laughs> Oh, no, you heal us. I don't like this, Jake, but not one bit I'm going to go after Gardevoir. I like how she's like, here, it's an escape rope. And it's like going to like a black screen, but she's giving us a rope. Am I going too far with this joke? I feel like I really am at this point. Yes, I still remember I made that joke, even though it's been like literally a day since the last one. Here we are in Galar Mine. We can now capture our, our Pokemon. Well, we can have an encounter here. Ooh, do I want those? I think I'm gonna skip those. Did you see that? Did you see that thing just roll by? Is that a car was that a car call that is actually just run by like that? Um, I want to see if I can actually get some Pokemon going here. Like, is there anything else I can capture besides the Milkray? It's Sheruby, a Pie Dove. I don't know, man. Or should we just go with the Milkray? I don't know. There's so many things to choose from. The next Pokemon I see, I'll capture. So, just so that way it's fair. That way I'm not just looking around until something rare spawns, you know. But I just want to see what my options are first, right? But okay, I guess we got to battle you first. In order to go do good work, I can't slack off on training. I guess not, lady. I guess not. Ooh, you're challenged by Madam Georgia. All right, Madam Georgia. Vanillite. I'll lick some of your ice cream, lady. No, 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 no. Okay, all right, I see you here. Yeah, okay, please don't kill Cubchu here. I am praying. Please, Arceus. Yes, okay, that's fine. Do that. Just keep on doing that as, as long as you don't attack. We are good, but as soon as you attack now, that's game over for us. There's there's no way in hell. Yes! Okay. Alright, my heart was racing there like a racehorse, ready to take a giant piss. Madam Georgia. Ooh. There's a lot of close calls right now. I'm wondering if I've upped the AI in this game. Probably not, because if I did... Then that lady would have definitely gone ahead and used an attack after like the sixth curse there. Uh, I feel like that would just be a waste right now. But I feel like I should go back and that's a Sherubi. I should go back so I can buy some potions because we we should probably not be in here. An Axu! No no no! no I want Axu. Yes! Yes! Cobalt's back, ladies and gentlemen! Cobalt is back! Okay. Um. I feel like we should go with hypnosis because this thing's pretty strong. Taunt, okay. That's fine. You, you can taunt me all you want there, dude. 
or do that. We're gonna go confusion here. I'm like shaking right now. Like I really, really want this. No, 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 no. Come on, actually, please don't get confused. Please don't get confused. No, no, God, please, no, 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 no. no! No. Uh, well, I'm sorry that you saw me like kind of like freak out there slash be very upset because I was actually very upset that we lost Axie like that. Axie is one of my favorite Pokemon because of the Mystery Dungeon series I did several years ago. And yeah, that's why I was... Um... We're already battling Leon. And you got a green Sobble? Hold up. Hold the phone here, man. What's going on? Why are we hourly battling you? Let's go into uh, Bulbasaur here. I feel like that's appropriate, right? Green versus green. Who's the superior of them all? Hmm, looks like we're, we're in sync. Um, I don't know, man. I'm not in a sync band or anything. And, like, I don't know, but we in sync, that's for sure. I started to do, like, a clever pun there, but I couldn't think of the band I'm thinking of. I know there's, like, a boy band that's, like, called, like, we in sync or something, or something along those lines. Ooh, it's a great ball. Okay, that's not bad. That would have been really helpful against Axu. I probably should have gone ahead and just threw in a great ball or something at it instead of trying to attack it. But, hey... I guess that's what I get for uh, being too strong at this point in time. I don't know what kind of TN that is. Am I able to see what TN this is in the bag? No, that's not the bag. That's our Pokemon, Jake. Get your head together here, man. It was Rock Blast. Surprisingly, Bulbasaur can learn that. Okay. Um, Can Bulbasaur normally learn this? I don't think so, can it? I don't know, but okay. Bulbasaur's got Rock Blast in case he's up against some Flying-type Pokemon, which I don't think will happen, because I'm not that naive to put Bulbasaur against a Flying-type Pokemon, because I know Bulbasaur would potentially die from it. Even though the Flying-type Pokemon may not have any Flying-type moves, I'm not going to risk it for the Biscuit this in this time. Maybe if it was like a nice Oreo Biscuit, then maybe, sorry, Mitch, I just, I just bumped into your bonkers there. Your, bu your bazookas, you know? I didn't mean for that to happen. Look at all these flying Pokemon over here. It's like a zoo. Working women are good at Pokemon battles too. Are you saying, so you're saying work, non-working women aren't good at Pokemon battles? How dare you? I have a sister that's not working right now. And she's great at Pokemon battles. Okay? I don't actually have a sister. Ew. You got one of these? I don't want to see this. Get this crackhead out of here. What's up? Your Pokemon, I want to scout them. What does that even mean, dude? Are you trying to scout them like Team Rocket Scouts Pokemon? I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna battle that guy over there. I'm just gonna get out. Oh. Mm. Um. Okay, so we're gonna heal up now. I'm hoping that you're not gonna wreck us. I don't think you will. But that's to be a safe. We're gonna heal up. And I have a feeling I probably should some berries on our Pokemon. Just be on the safe side here. Uh, yeah, let's give this to... If anything, we should probably give it a Cub Chew. Okay, now I feel like we're good to go. Hey there, buddy. If you want to put on something you've bought, go ahead and use it. Hey, that sounds fitting to me. Sounds fitting to me, but I like your outfit. 
Welcome back to the game, even though you got the beady vibes going. Knock it off. You don't have fur fur with you. Gray. All right. Yesterday's bargain. What may that be? Yeah, I would have liked to actually see him, like, battle with, like, his outfit on. But unfortunately, he's... You got a shoddy Dari Maka! Are you kidding me? What? Why? Where's my shiny Dari Maka? You can't just show up here with your shiny Dari Maka and act like it's nothing. I see. Well, that's fun. I wasn't really trying that hard anyway. Well, are you sure? Because I feel like your life kind of depended on this battle there, buddy. Oh, my. Cru Cru Zizi. I get it. You feel responsible for him and you want to help him as soon as you can, right? I, I guess so. Who am I helping out here? Hello. I'm talking to you, buddy. Oh, some nice sacks over there. A sack of sand. I love that. You know? That's like the best per present ever. It's a sack of sand. Screw getting a proper present. I just want a sack of sand, mom. I'm gonna admit, we're gonna skip you there. So this is a new area, actually, and I really want to get a Pokemon. So I feel like the best option... What is that, though? Is that Celebi? Hold up! Celebi? Why is there so many of you? Um... Okay. I really want to sell it, me, but that. Why is there so many of you? Alright, should we go for Celebi? What if Celebi will just wreck us? Okay, let's see here. Alright, we're looking, we're looking good. Let's go and, uh,. Let's see here, Pokeballs, we got 22 of those, and 3 of those. Eh, we're gonna catch Celebi, I feel like. Let's go. Come to Papa, Celebi. Oh, oh my goodness. That was like a the worst voice crack ever, but Celebi, you're back. Okay, um, let's go for Hypnosis here. Heal bell, that's fine. That is fine. Well, let's, let's keep using hypnosis here until you fall asleep. Magically, that might not be as magical as you think it is because that did 10 damage. Come on. You cannot avoid it that many times. There's no way. There we go. Finally. Now, you're asleep now, Celebi. We're gonna use a, like, what, what should we use a, we should use a, a draining kiss here. Give you a nice smooch while you're sleeping. But don't worry, it's gonna be alright. Now, if I put it asleep, oh, but now I'm confused though. That's the thing now, man. That's that's not good. So I'm just gonna go for a great ball here. <laughs> we caught Celebi! Oh my goodness! Yo! Are you serious? We caught Celebi! Um, okay, uh, let's see, forget move, yes. Okay, I am literally shaking right now. Oh. Um, let's, let's get rid of Icy Wind here, I feel like Frost Breath is an update, or an upgrade to that. And 
Bulbasaur's evolving. That's that's a great because I think I'm gonna end it off there. That's too much excitement for me today. Like holy, like for all the like the glitchiness in today's episode and everything that's just happened. Like I, I I gotta take a break, man. But look how beautiful this thing is. You're so pretty, Ivysaur. Uh, as usual, nicknames are up to you. So choose Celebi's nickname. Because I, I don't know what to name this thing. And I, I feel like you should name it, you know? Because it's, it's, our, it's our shiny lock. But there we go. Um, I'm, I'm seriously considering how I'm going to, like, hunt for Celebi, though. Anyway, I think I'm going to end it off there for today. As always, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out. See you guys then and hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. Bye now.